Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning, morning sir. How are you? Yeah, okay, I'm fine. Okay, on to the on to this lesson, we are going to focus on reading and writing. Okay, can anyone tell me the importance of reading? Remo? To be informed. To be informed. Uh, John? Reading keeps our brain active. Reading keeps our brain active. Ne? Yes. Okay. Uh, under reading, when you take a trip to Maybe from here to KZN, you come across billboards uh, telling you that you are now on a national road, the 40 and stuff, ne? Okay, and big billboards are written in big and colorful ways so that they can attract you, ne? Yes. So we read in our everyday life, ne? Now, can anyone tell me the importance of writing? To transfer our knowledge in a page. To transfer the knowledge in a page. And Karabo? Um, I think the importance of, of writing is to keep record of what our thoughts are in a written transcription. Yeah, that's that's a good answer. Ne? So now we are focusing on reading a short story. So in grade five, how many short stories have you done? We done one short story last year. One short story. Mm -hmm. Can I get the name of that short story? The name of the short story was The Little Mouse and the Lion. The Little Mouse and the Lion. Okay, Jonas, can you please give me three types of literature? Three types of literature, it can be a novel, a poem, and a short story. And a short story. They all fall under reading. Ne? Okay, now, I want, you, you've given me the importance of reading and writing. Now, I want the definition of writing and reading. Ne? Okay. Rim, can you please define reading for us? Reading is making sense of the words on a paper. Like on a paper. Okay. Uh, Glenn, can you give us the uh, definition for writing? Writing is when you write your thoughts in a paper. When you write your thoughts in a paper. Ne? So now we have the learning intentions and the success criteria. Uh, can we all read the learning intention? We are learning to know and understand the importance of reading and writing. Okay. Now, Karam, please read the success criteria for us. What I'm looking for, I can read the story. I can explain what is meant by the words, the lost dog in my own understanding. I can answer questions related to the story. I can summarize the short story in my own way. Okay, now, after we are done with this lesson, everyone must be able to read a short story. Ne? And you, mu you must explain what is meant by the lost dog? And the lost dog is the topic for our short story. And after reading the short story, I'm going to give you question and activity based on the short story. So you are going to answer questions based on the short story. Ne? Then after that, you must summarize the short story in your own words. Ne? So now back to learning, but uh, reading and writing. So what is reading and writing? Reading is the process of looking at and understanding the, the meaning of written and or printed words. So now, as you said, uh, reading is when you are given you are given a text and now you have to go through it. Ne? That's reading. And when you read, you gain knowledge. Ne? Uh, writing is to make letters or numbers on a surface, especially using a pen or a pencil. So now, writing, as you, you guys said, is using words to express your knowledge. Ne? Now, our two, uh, our short story for today is the, the lost dog. Ne? So here is the picture. The picture has a boy and a dog. Ne? So can you guys explain 
Uh, what do you understand on this picture? Okay, Jonas. The snowflakes on the picture show that the story is taking place during winter. Okay, the story is uh, during winter because of the snow that is in the picture. Yeah? The the boy. Okay. Uh, uh, Glenn, can you explain what you see on the picture? Uh, the boy and the dog shows that they are partners and the boy owns the dog. Okay. Uh, any, anyone else? Okay, by, by, by the words, the lost dog, what do you, what do you understand? I think the boy is going to lose the dog. The boy is going to lose the dog. Why do you think the boy, specifically the boy, will lose the dog? Because he's the only one who can kill the dog. So now we are going to read our short story, The Lost Dog. Can us please read the, uh, the story for us? One particular cold Saturday in January, I was supposed to take our dog out for a walk, but it was so cold that I didn't want to go outside. Instead, I just opened the door and let the dog out by himself. I kept an eye on him to make sure he would come back inside. However, another neighborhood dog quickly ran past our house, and our dog speed after to catch him. I hurriedly went to grab my coat so I couldn't follow my dog, so I could follow my dog, and then I rushed outside. Unfortunately, I was already too late, and my dog was nowhere inside. I walked a few blocks, but I was unable to find him. Okay, on this short story, the boy was supposed to take a, a, the dog for a walk, ne? but instead, he opened the door for, uh, for the dog to play outside by itself because it was cold. Ne? So, as the boy uh, opened the door, the, dog for, the door for the dog, the neighborhood dog passed by, and that's when the dog followed followed it and he lost sight of the dog. Ne? So now, Karabu, please read the next slide for us. Distress. I returned home. My mother was standing at the door waiting and she asked me what had happened. I know I was supposed to walk our dog, I confessed, but I thought he would be able to go outside and come back by himself. Now he's gone and I can't find him anymore. Oh, anyway, my mother was very angry with me. She said I should have been more responsible. She decided to help me by making some signs. The signs read, lost a big black dog. Please call us right away. And she printed our phone number on the bottom of the, of the page, on the, of the signs. Okay, direct. She said, as she handed over the stacks of signs, now go post these flyers on all the streets. On, on, on all the street posts. Okay, as you you can see, the boy had lost sight of the dog. Okay, so now he went out. He went out to look for the dog. Then when he came back, he he found his mom home. Ne? and then his mother was mad at him, but she helped him print the posters for uh, of the lost dog so you guys understand the story now yes sir. okay now glenn please read the next slide for us <clears throat> my sister and i grabbed the signs and we posted them along our street as well as along the surrounding streets the whole time i was incredibly sad and worried about our dog all i could think about was how cold it was and how cold that dog must be my sister wanted to go home so I told her I'll walk her home, but then keep looking for the dog myself. I took her home and resumed my, my search. I could soon settle in the neighborhood looking for a dog, but I didn't see him anywhere. I called out his name and I looked in all the alleys. I got more and more upset. I had made such a huge mistake. Okay, now the boy and his sister went out to post the flyers of the lost dog. Ne? So as they were busy posting the flyers of the lost dog in the streets, he, he then realized that he had made a terrible mistake. 
ne? and then he started to feel bad for what he has done. Now, Remo, please read the last slide for us. All I wanted was to stay warm, but now I was extremely cold, and so was my dog. Finally, I gave up and stopped home. When I returned, my mother was waiting for me and smiling broadly. She told me, our dog came back home all by himself. So, you were right. You did come back. But you were wrong, too. You should have done your job this morning. You are right, Mom. I was wrong. And as a result, I have learned a very important lesson today. What seems easy initially may turn out to be difficult in the end. This was the this was a very difficult morning for everyone. Ever since that morning, I have remembered that it, that important lesson I have learned. Okay, now in this slide, the boy felt cool when he was looking for, uh, when he was looking for a dog and posted posting flyers of the lost dog. Ne? So he felt cold and went back home to find the dog returned home. So now he he learned the lesson that if you try to make uh, things easy, at the end they turn they turn out to be difficult. Okay now here is an activity. Ne, guys, in this activity you are going to you are going to tell me why do you think the writer wrote the story, ne? And then after that, you are going to write how do you think the writer felt about what happened. You 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 can you can tell in the story that uh, the writer uh, was feeling something, right? Uh, in, the, in the question number three, you are going to write why did the writer put the story in winter. And now, at, uh, at last, you, you will tell why the writer uh, have the story end with Dara's sentence that says, uh, Ever since that morning, I have remembered that important lesson I have learned. So this activity, you are going to write it on the provided pages. As You are going to write this activity as your class activity. Ne? I'm giving you 10 minutes to, to finish this activity. 